Anna and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Oh. Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. I'm okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy. Hey, so, babe, you see the little gap down there? Between the cart and the wall? The tiny little gap? Yeah, maybe you can just, you know, like shimmy through it or something. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with the, right, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so. Why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me? All right, don't move. I'm coming in. Better hurry up before some other hunky beefcake gets <laughs> Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. Cabin Buster.
one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Oh, well, when Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'll take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save for the stump speech, buddy. Ooh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh... This posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Rats with wings? Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? These are gross. Like diseases and shit. Josh, couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? 
what? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Yes!
track the peanut gallery, you know what? I got an idea for you, too. What? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> you know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, <sighs> what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and, you know, that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Here, can you... Hold this. What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple.
It's okay. I'm just try again. regular about it. supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, Putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about joke. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just... Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Then 
How do you feel about people who are afraid? I see well Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Well, this is not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? <laughs> so, you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then, and charity? <laughs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Oh, watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> Jess? So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious.